Swansea was undeniably noisy on Saturday, with an impressive turnout against austerity prior to next week's national demonstration in London. We gathered against austerity. And what is austerity? In short, it is making the poor, the disadvantaged and the young pay for the greed and fraud of the bankers. And we're not going to take it anymore. So we're going to join in events like this. We're going to support our neighbours if they're threatened with eviction. We're going to support our local library or our local school if it's facing cuts. We're going to fight against pretty well everything this government is trying to do. And so people are saying, you know, democracy should be about people power. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to get on the streets and do it. We have to accept cuts in our own conditions, cuts in our own pay, and at the same time, the people we're meant to be representing, they're getting cuts in services, they're getting cuts in the provisions, and they're getting cuts in benefits. We stand on our feet in the radical Welsh tradition. Some of our representatives have forgotten this. Some have become lazy, some have become fearful. We have moved by anger to campaign in a positive way. For our communities, with our communities, in our communities. That is the only way we'll do it. Certainly the rise of the Green Party is related to the weakness, the failure of the, the Labour Party to be any kind of opposition at all. You know, fracking is an obvious one, but it's also, you think about the benefits cap. The Labour Party has not opposed the benefits cap. And yet, judges have actually opposed the benefits cap. They have actually explicitly said, this is against our obligations under the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. We're left to judges to being the only official people speaking up. We need to defend judicial review, which this government's certainly going to continue to attack. We need to fight for and defend legal aid. And, you know, speak up for the lawyers who are prepared to take the cases, prepared to fight for us. You know, we are the world's sixth richest economy. There is enough money for everybody if we have decent pay and decent benefits.